Okay, let's talk about the transition. And this is a real key area as we initiate the downswing, exactly what should be happening. Now, there's a few things that should be happening. Recently, I posted a video where I put a lot of emphasis into understanding the significance of your rotation and how important that is to guiding your lead arm through the ball. But what I wanted to do today is, unfortunately, we still have one more arm that we have to try and influence, particularly in the start of the downswing, and that's going to be your trail arm. Now, the big difference is what happens with amateur golfers is as they start the downswing, even the ones that understand how to rotate the body correctly, the upper arm ends up moving too far away from the body, like so. Now, this is going to lend itself into one of two things. Either you're going to have a casting motion, okay, or you're not going to do that and you're going to start pulling down on the handle, which produces a steepening motion. Because at the end of the day, all good will intend it. You could say to yourself, right, I don't care how badly I hit it, I'm going to get the positions correct. But question is that how long are you going to realistically do that for before you get that self-doubt as to whether you're doing it correctly in the first place so what we need to do is we need to make sure that we're moving as best as we possibly can so what basically happens with regards to the trail arm as we initiate the downswing is sort of simple in terms of to understand there's a couple of motions the first one is that the upper arm moves to the side of the body so that's basically my tricep moving down towards my rib cage Simultaneously though, what we need to do is we need to allow the lower arm to progressively move away from the upper arm, okay, like so. Now what this motion does is this creates a shallowing move. And simultaneously, if we can do both of those, then that is a very good trail arm functionality. If we can do that whilst rotating, then all of a sudden this is when it's like a serious game changer. Now, what we need to understand is feelings. What are the feelings that you're after? I would say that you really want to get a sense of when you're swinging into your backswing position, you want to feel like your right palm is pushing the club to the side of the wall as I'm demonstrating here. And then as you start the downswing, you can then get the feeling of your right palm pushing it down towards the floor. And then as you're coming in towards impact, you can then get the feeling of your right palm pushing towards the target. And then if you want to, you can keep that feeling moving through as you go in towards that release. Because your trail hand is going to be responsible for always applying a pressure to the side of the club. Now, there might be some of you, when you start practicing this, that will go, well, hang on a second. If I go palm down, doesn't it do this to the club? No. Not if your upper arm moves to the side of your body. Like I said, if your arm moves to the side of your body, you can then get that feeling of that palm pushing pressure down towards the floor as much as you like. If your upper arm gets disconnected, then that feeling, it will work, but obviously for you, it will just produce steepness. And that's ultimately what we're trying to do. So that magic move, okay, in that downswing position is navigating two things. It's navigating a heavy amount of rotation Okay, we need to really rotate hard at the start of the downswing. We also need to shift the weight to the lead side so that we're going to be able to hit through the ball. And we need to be able to master this sort of arm functionality. And that's what I work on with students all the time. I make sure things like the backswing positions are very sound and there's not too many moving parts because that makes transition much easier. But play around with that. Play around with the feeling of your palm pushing pressure to the side of the club. And I think you'll be surprised at what sort of results that will bring. See you soon.